Predmet – angliski jazik. Nastavna jedinica – pasiv. Odelenije – deveto. Nastavnik – Nataša Stardelova. Osnovno učilište – Sveti Kliment Ohridski. Pasiv voice is today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, you will know the difference between the active and the passive voice. You will also understand the way of transformation from active into passive voice. Finally, you'll know how to transform sentences into passive voice and try it by yourselves. When should we use passive voice? We can use passive voice when we don't know the doer of the action or the subject. That building was burned down. When we know the subject of the action, but we do not want to mention it, for whatever the reason. The vase was badly broken, I'm sorry. And when we are more interested in the action itself than in the doer, we also use passive voice. Penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming. How do we change verbs from active to passive voice? We need an auxiliary verb to be, which we conjugate it in the same sentence as the main verb in the active sentence, followed by the main verb in past participle. Or, to be simple, to be in the tense in which is the active sentence and uh, past participle of the main verb. To be plus past participle is the simple formula. People speak English all over the world is an active sentence they, where people is the subject, speak is the verb, active verb, and English is the direct object. In passive sentences, the direct object becomes the subject in the passive sentence. So that way we have English at the beginning of the sentence as passive sent subject, and we have is spoken as a passive verb. These are some examples of all of the uh, tenses we have learned so far. I do it. It is done is in the passive voice. I did it. It was done. I will do it. It will be done. I would do it. It would be done. I have done it. It has been done. I had done it. It had been done. The continuous tenses also have passive. I am doing it. It is being done. I was doing it. It was being done. I will be doing it. It will be being doing done. It, I would be doing it. It would be being done. I have been doing it. It has been being done. I had been doing it. It had been being done. I'm going to do it. It is going to be done. Modal verbs have simple passive. I can do it. It can be done. I could do it. It could be done. I must do it. It must be done. I may do it. It may be done. I might do it. It might be done. I have to do it. It has to be done. I shall do it. It shall be done. I should do it. It should be done. I ought to do it. It ought to be done. There are several types of passive voice and today we are going to speak for the first two, the direct object and indirect object passive voice. But there are some other, like positive have and get, impersonal, personal. We'll explain only the first two. The direct object. For this passive voice, we need a transitive verb. Therefore, we'll also need a direct object. My father buys all the weekly supplies. My father is the subject. Buys is the active verb in present simple. All the weekly supplies is the direct object. The direct object becomes a passive subject. Our bot is passive verb. By my father is the agent. The indirect object for this passive voice, we only need an intransitive verb and an indirect object. My father has talked to my sister for hours. My father is the subject. The active verb is has, is, uh, has talked. 
to my sister is the indirect object. And the passive voice of this sentence is my sister has been talked for hours by my father, where my sister becomes the passive subject, has been talked is the passive verb, and by my father is the agent in the sentence. What happens if there are both objects in the same sentence? If you find a sentence with both direct and indirect object, then you can do both types of passive voice, depending on what you want to emphasize. My brother has bought my sister a new toy. My brother is the subject, has bought is the verb, my sister is the indirect object, a new toy is the direct object. The first way to create passive is a new toy has been bought for my sister by my brother. The subject is a new toy has been bought is the passive verb for my sister is the indirect object and by my brother is the agent. My sister has been bought a new toy by my brother is the other way to create passive. My sister is the subject has been bought is the verb, a new toy is the direct object and by my brother is the agent now. If any of these types of passive voice, if the subject in the passive is people, somebody, a personal pronoun, he, she, I, they, we tend to omit the agent of the sentence, it is the doer of the action. Let's try together. The government is planning a new road near my house. What is being planned? A new road is being planned near my house. My grandfather built this house in 1943. What was built in 1943? This house was built in 1943 by my grandfather. Now you try. Picasso was painting Guernica at that time. Guernica was being painted at that time by Picasso. The cleaner has cleaned the office. The office has been cleaned. He had written three books before 1867. Three books had been written before 1867. John will tell you later. You will be told later by John. By this time tomorrow, we will have signed the deal. By this time tomorrow, the deal will have been signed. Somebody should do the work. The work should be done. The traffic might have delayed Jimmy. Jimmy might have been delayed by the traffic. People speak Portuguese in Brazil. Portuguese is spoken in Brazil. 
And that's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.